panel, the discussion, an objective and impartial view of the issues of interest to you. Nation Beat is on now. And welcome to the press launch or press relaunch of the St. Lucia Moves campaign. Those of you may remember, St. Lucia Moves was launched um, last year in uh, October, September. September 2022. Just to give uh, a, a, brief, a brief intro, chronic non-communicable communicable diseases or NCDs such as cancer, diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease have been the leading cause of death in St. Lucia for a decade with significant socioeconomic consequences on individuals and the nation. In response to the devastation posed by these diseases and their major risk factors such as smoking, physical inactivity, and unhealthy diets, Caribbean governments committed to the Port of Spain Declaration in 2007. This declaration was made to ensure the future implementation of policies and programs which would reverse the impact of NCDs and their risk factors. In September 2022, Caribbean Moves, along with its St. Lucian component, was launched and has since then encouraged, participated, and hosted healthy lifestyle events. The plan for St. Lucia Moves is to continue throughout 2023 and we are here today to introduce to you some of the ways we plan to do so. I am your host for today, Sant Justin, from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs. We would like to move on by bringing on one of the healthier ministers within the cabinet as the Minister of <laughs> Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabatis, who will give you a brief overview of the wider Caribbean Moves campaign. Mr. Minister. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone, and a very special good morning to Dr. Sir and her team, and our team. Um, thank you very much for, for being here. Um, as, as you know, chronic non-communicable diseases, what we refer to as NCDs, um, sounds indicated to you, cancer, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, um, and he said it already, it's been the, the leading cause of death in St. Lucia for, for many years. And it's very important for us to keep the focus of the country on NCDs because it continues to cost us lives and also years lost in productive um, activity. A number of individuals in St. Lucia cannot work because of NCDs. In 2018, the Caribbean Moves campaign was conceptualized and endorsed by CARICOM leaders as a response to the need for action to reduce the effects of NCDs and their risk factors. It was hoped that the Caribbean Moves initiative would be a multi-sectoral tool aimed at promoting physical activity, healthy eating habits, and age-appropriate health checks. Although initially endorsed in 2018, the Caribbean Moves initiative was only officially launched in Jamaica on September 14, 2022. Less than a week before the official launch of the Caribbean Moves Initiative, St. Lucia followed the rest of the Caribbean countries, such as Jamaica, St. Kitts, with its own official launch, and you, you will recall September 9th, 2022. We did it during the commemoration of Caribbean Wellness Day. St. Lucia Moves is a local chapter of the wider Caribbean Moves Initiative, and it forms part of the ministry's national wellness drive aimed at increasing awareness of non-communicable diseases, the promotion of wellness, and the promotion of age-appropriate physical activity. We want to encourage everyone, children, um, el the elderly, young at heart, young, physically young, and so on, we want to encourage everyone to get moving. While one of the main components of the initiative is that of the promotion of physical activity, St. Lucia Moves will offer a holistic approach to health and wellness promotion, also to, to positive health habits. And this init initiative will include various components. And it is envisioned to be an initiative 
which can be embraced by the public and private sectors. This morning, we encourage all St. Lucians to be part of this movement. It's important for us to incorporate it um, in the public service, when you're at work, um, what can we do to, to encourage public servants to, to get up a little more? What can we do to encourage um, children in schools to, to go back to the, you know, to, the, to the schoolyard and play a little more? What can we do to encourage um, individuals in the community to walk some more and to you know, drink more water and so on? So I congratulate the team. I look forward to, to this activity. Avec moi, Kadi, tout le monde, c'est un qualité activité qui est important. Pour le ministre, il est important pour ses docteurs, nos, tout le monde qui est un ministre. Mais aussi, il est important pour nous, en mm -hmm. société, parce que nous avons un chai monde qui est mort, parce qu'il y a des diabetes, um, maladie en chair, blood pressure, blood pressure nous avons monté un chai. Et il y a une raison, c'est parce que nous n'avons pas fait assez d'activités. Quand ça, le ministre, quand il fait un chai, il fait une activité en pays. Ya pour faire les gens savent qu'ils ne sont pas obligés à mailler là ou bien à Yusin Bolt ou bien à la petite madame là, Noni, à Texas, à Brisa, qui fait bien à Chahi. Ou pas obligé lui, Julien Alfred qui a couru tellement vite, ou pas obligé lui, mais ou ça, à toi, va ou ça, ou ça, move ti corps ou pli. Uh, marché pli, li bon matin, li après-midi, wè pli glo, avec fè bagay uh, pou pou one, one call pli vitesse. Kon sa mwen ka uh, di, di jan ministre la, nou ka y twabay asam, avec tou patou li opè yisè nou set li si. Nou ka di tout set li si, an bay kon nou pli, pli mouvman. Se nou chè, let's move. Mm -hmm. Merci a chak, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Mr. Minister. And we'd just like to apologize on the minister's behalf who could not stay with us throughout the press conference. As a number of other pressing matters, um, he has to see to. Now, the Ministry of Health wants to lead by example um, with this campaign. And that is why earlier I did mention that um, the ministry has hosted, encouraged, and participated in activities um, encouraging, uh, moving. And the minister himself, I've seen him. I haven't, but I've seen him participating in some of these activities. Uh, Dr. Uh, Sir, I've seen you as well. I'm not too sure for uh, my other two I'm not on social media. I've been looking out for you all. Um, so let me, let me bring on um, another one of our panelists, that is Dr. Shana Sir. She is our Senior Medical Officer for Non-Communicable Diseases. Dr. Sir Filbert will speak about our target audience and the necessity for the campaign. Dr. Sir. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Justin. Good morning, St. Lucia. So we're relaunching St. Lucia Moves, and we want to, this morning, speak about a particular aspect of St. Lucia Moves as we go on. So we're hoping that you will stay tuned. So you're asking yourselves, maybe, why are we here? Let me tell you. It is Valentine's Day, a day when we celebrate love. We are here today to encourage all St. Lucians to love their bodies and to move as part of the St. Lucia Moves initiative suggests. Today we want to let all St. Lucians know that we launched St. Lucia, St. Lucia Moves in September 2022, precisely because we saw how relevant it is for all of us to move into action against NCDs and their risk factors. As Minister would have mentioned, the aim of St. Lucia Moves is to encourage St. Lucians to be more physically active and to lead healthier lives. Before we continue, I would like to place things in context. Um, the ministry did not just come up with this just, just because. That this, this, is, this is very, very relevant. And I want to share some very concerning facts with, with us as St. Lucians 
living here or overseas. Over the years, the Ministry of Health has actually carried out a few surveys, some of which are um, our STEPS Behavioral Risk Factor Survey and the Global School Health Survey. The most recent STEP survey was done in 2020, and a representative sample of about 3,000, in fact, over 3,000 solutions, aged 18 to 69, they were interviewed and they were physically measured. The results I wish to share with you to provide context. And I hope that you take note of the results because they are very important. So 65% of the survey population were overweight or obese, 65% of the persons aged 18 to 69. Overweight or obese. 50% of the males were overweight or obese, and 76.8% of the females, that's almost 80% of the females aged 18 to 69 of a representative sample of solutions being overweight or obese. Okay, and we're talking about 2020, a little before the pandemic. Actually, almost half of the females 46.1%, they were actually obese. And what do I mean by obese? That their body mass index was 30 or above 30 kilograms per meter squared. While the men were at 20.6%, 20.6% of the, the males were actually obese. Okay, that for us as a Ministry of Health, knowing the implications of obesity is very concerning. Additionally, for this same sample of solutions, the percentage of persons with raised blood pressure who had not previously been diagnosed with hypertension or high blood pressure was 37.3%, almost 40%, okay, of persons 18 to, to, to 69. And when we, broke the, when we break down the figures, we find that 52.8% of the males were actually, they had high blood, their, their blood pressure was raised and they had not had a previous diagnosis of high blood pressure. And 26% of the females, of course, 26% of the females possibly, that because females tend to go to health centers and their doctors more, so they probably would have known. The STEP survey also indicated high levels of the, what we call NCD risk factors. So um, our NCDs are non-communicable diseases, cancer, diabetes, heart disease. They are what we call major risk factors. Um, things that make it more likely that you're going to get a disease. So we looked at the risk factors among that sample of solutions. And the percentage of individuals with three or more risk factors for developing those diseases that I just spoke about, right? Um, so in terms of risk factors, we had current daily smokers, persons who smoke daily, persons who don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, persons who don't do enough exercise, persons who are overweight or obese. And and those with raised blood pressure, as I would have mentioned previously, that was 35.4% of the survey population. Breaking it down, 31.3% of the males and 38.7% of the females, okay? So these persons are, are very likely to have the, those diseases, which of course cause premature mortality and cause burdens to the families and, and, and cause us to lose income. St. Lucia Moves is about physical activity, but as we've mentioned before, it's not just about physical activity because we understand that while physical activity is important, there are other aspects that have to go hand in hand with physical activity. Physical inactivity is a major risk factor for non-communicable diseases. That has been established. In our STEP survey that was done in 2023, the percentage of persons who did not engage in sufficient physical activity was 17.1%. And we're looking at 150 minutes of moderate intensive, intensity activity, which would include brisk walking, dancing, hiking, and riding your, your bike at a moderate speed. 
17.1% of persons did not do that. The percentage of persons not engaging in activities like running, swimming, heavy hard work, um, yard work, or, or, or uh, faster bike riding was actually 65.9%. That is for the adults, age 18 to 69. One would say, okay, well, the adults are not as physically active as they should be. Perhaps the children are. Unfortunately, statistics show that our children are not as active as they should be. So in our 2018 Global School Health Survey, where children, well, adolescents to be precise, from all of the secondary schools were sampled. Um, adolescents aged 13 to 17, only 21.2% of those students admitted to being physically active for one hour a day. Only 21.2%. That leaves us with the 78.8% not being physically active. But 60% of the students admitted to spending at least three hours after school not doing homework, outside of homework hours, three hours after school sitting while watching TV or engaging in video games. Now, this is before COVID. We know what COVID did. We had lockdowns, the, the, the level of activity dropped because it had to be done, okay? People were indoors, etc. So we know, or we can assume, that the figures now are worse than they were before. So if before they were concerning, they're even more concerning now. The aim of St. Lucia Moves is to improve physical activity among everyone. Like Minister said, all sectors, public, private, our schools, our churches, our business places, among the young and among the old. We want to improve health habits. We want to increase water intake. We want to encourage healthy diets. We want to also improve self-care through health education and screening. St. Lucia Moves is about every solution because we have to make a difference. We cannot continue like this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's some nice numbers. So, <clears throat> some of these numbers are very surprising, mm -hmm. um, especially with all the hills and valleys St. Lucia has. We think we had no choice but to be active and, mm -hmm. and move. So these are very surprising numbers. And um, I'm hoping, uh, if you're watching, taking note of these numbers, very important, very important. Before we move on to our next panelist, we would like to also to the relaunch the St. Lucia Moves campaign song. I mean, I heard that song for the first time yesterday. I couldn't stop moving. So let's hope it, it has the same effect on you. And maybe we can get some DJs to play on the radio and the fets and see if we can get people moving more. So let's, let's take a listen and a look at the uh, Solution Moves campaign song. Solution ready, set, move. Move to the left or the right. Keep that body tight. Solution move. Get a good sleep at night. Treat your body right. Solution move. Young, old, rich, or poor. Don't stay inside. I lay there walk. Move. Walking, running, biking, hiking, swimming, exercising. Move. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health, encouraging all St. Lucians to take good care of your mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical health. St. Lucia, ready, set, move. At least for this one, I hope you are moving. And, and our plan is to get you moving some more as we continue with the St. Lucia Moves campaign to bring on our, to bring another panelist to speak to you about the more components of the 2023 plans for St. Lucia Moves. I would like to introduce Dr. Isaac Luizzi, who is a district medical officer with the Ministry of Health. And Dr. Luizzi, um, I'd also like to encourage you to get in that video that we're going to redo that video <laughs> and we want to see some more faces. 
<laughs> That's, that goes for both of you. <laughs> Dr. Louise? Mr. Justin, good morning. Good morning, St. Lucia. Um, Mr. Justin is teasing me because I'm not into social media, but I'm active, um, I promise you that. Um, so St. Lucia moves. The, as, as our minister have mentioned, uh, has mentioned, Dr. Sir has mentioned, St. Lucia Move is a wellness campaign. We are trying to encourage people to do more physical activity, yes. And we will speak about the benefits of physical activity, but it is a wellness campaign. Because when, as a doctor, you see a patient, even though the person comes in with a headache, you have to see the whole person, not just the headache. So St. Lucia Moves, we're taking on that um, approach to wellness, where it, it's a holistic approach. So we will be um, partnering with the schools, the ministries, the Ministry of Education, the other ministries, because we've partnered with the Ministry of Housing for the battle relay. Um, we will be partnering with other public sectors, um, the private sector as well. We will be partnering with them. We will be looking to go into the workplaces to get them educated on wellness, on physical activity, on good sleep. I respect sleep. Okay, if you want to know how many calories you burn on an hour of the treadmill, or you could go and take a nap. Because when you sleep, you burn calories as well. So we need to learn and appreciate the aspect of wholeness and wellness. Um, with St. Lucia Moves, we would like to educate our population about being healthy and also the ability to have a chronic condition and still be well because it is different from being healthy and being well. Being healthy is that you have no sickness to deal with, but being well, it's, 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 it, it, has, it surpasses just the physical aspect. It is how you deal with certain situations, the respect for self, respect for body, which is why today, 14th of February, we have chosen to launch Love Your Body. And we have to learn to love our body and respect other people's bodies as well. So through St. Lucian Moves, um, just to give you a little taste of what we would like to do for the year, for February we're looking at Love Your Body, the Love Your Body campaign. And a lovely video that you all just saw, that we just saw for the first time, to San surprised us. Um, it's, it's not the video that we want for St. Lucian Moves. We, we have a song, the song is fantastic, and we know St. Lucians are creative. So for St. Lucia Moves, what we're going to do, we are going to launch a video campaign. It's a video competition. So all of our people who are on social media, not like me, <laughs> but those who are on social media, we encourage you to gang up with your friends. You can do a choreographed dance. You can capture your mother sweeping. You can do your little gardening and have your friend while you're doing your gardening. You're doing a video to the St. Lucia Moves song while you're in a supermarket picking up your fruits and vegetables. You hear the song break out in the supermarket and you do a little jig and you record it. You send the videos in to the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Health has a Facebook page. You send the videos in. We also have um, the email address that you could send it to. Mr. Justin will share. And those videos will be compiled and reviewed by our communications unit. And a video of St. Lucian's moving will be used for our St. Lucia Moves jingle. Now, we're not limiting it to people who are only on our lovely mass of soil. <laughs> it is also extended to our St. Lucians in the diaspora. So we want and we encourage people, go on the social media pages, use the jingle as your song, give our jingle some coverage, let it get out there, let people learn about St. Lucia Moves and what we're doing. Now, that's for February. For March, we are going to be doing Walk for Mental Health. And in that, and these are just little snippets, we will be doing other things, and as Cassius will tell you more about that. But in March, for mental health awareness, and what walking can do for your mental health. You all know sometimes you're stressed, and all you need to do is to go outside, take some nice fresh air, a little walk, five minutes, and everything is much better. We want people to partner up and the reason why we're encouraging partnering up is I could say I want to do 10,000 steps a day, but if I have to tell Dr. Siru that I didn't do it, I 
I'm a little more motivated because I have somebody to report to. So you partner up with somebody and the two of you give 10,000 steps per day. That also needs to be sent into the ministry because guess what, for Caribbean Wellness Day this year, we're giving prizes to the people who participate and help get Senusha moves moving. For April, um, we will be, now that's why you need to exercise or your memory will get like mine <laughs> and start having <laughs> Alzheimer's from a very young age. So for the month of April, we'll be looking at dance. I don't know how I forget the dance. We'll be going out into the schools and we'll be extending invitations to the dance um, companies, so the people who do salsa, the school groups, um, the name of the, 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 what is the name? Help me. The, the children who dance at the school, Mr. George, Barry George's group. Silver Shadows. Silver Shadows, mm -hmm. right. So that's why we work in a team. The Silver Shadow dancers, we are going to approach these sorts of groups. And we are going to also encourage different schools and different community groups to have dance throughout the month of April. By the end of April, we will hopefully be launching that official video that you will be sending your clips in. So then you will see yourself in our video by the end of April. And then in May, May is measure month. Ms. Cassius will tell us more about measurement. We encourage you to know your numbers, measure your blood pressure, get your blood sugar checked, know what your waistline is, okay? And then in June, we focus on the men and men's wellness. So throughout the year and working up to Caribbean Wellness Day this year, we have a lot of activities, not just for the workplaces, but also for the schools and for the communities. Now, if we focus a little on the workplaces, the Ministry of Health because we tend to say do what I say but not as I do. Mm -hmm. So we for the St. Lucia moves we have decided that Ministry of Health we're going to be the trendsetters. Yep. And so at the Ministry of Health as of yesterday actually we started with our Water Monday. Um, the dental clinics throughout the islands actually shared lots of pictures. It was beautiful. And the, so every Monday is Water Monday. Tuesday is Meditation Tuesday for your mental health. Every Wednesday is Fitness Wednesday. And tomorrow we are having rounders or dodgeball at the beach. So we will encourage other business partners and public sector to take on those sorts of activities. Thursday we look at vegetable consumption and Friday will be fruit Fridays. So these are the sort of activities that the Ministry of Health will be undertaking along with educational activities looking at the benefits of exercise. So the benefits of exercise would be, I won't be able to remember all, but we're looking at increasing your body's ability to actually respond to the sugar in the blood. And so it actually lowers your HbA1c, which is one of the numbers that you will learn throughout the course of the year through Know Your Numbers. Um, it helps your body to um, respond to blood pressure. So it helps control your blood pressure as well. Exercise actually helps preserve your nerve and vascular health. The health of your blood vessels are improved and preserved through exercise, which means everything that needs blood to work works better yeah, with exercise, thing. including your mojo, right? Um, <laughs> exercise also reduces your chances of developing obesity-related cancers because when you exercise, the chemicals your body secretes actually helps reduce inflammation. Exercise improves mood. So people like me that are going through menopause already, we need to exercise <laughs> to help stabilize our moods. Yes, it's necessary. Exercise is all encompassing. And when I say exercise, I need to apologize here. I mean physical activity. Yeah. If you can't get up and move, because there are days we cannot do it, and there are certain people who cannot, doing what you can physically, it helps. So if you can't walk, you do arm stretches. If you can't get out of bed, you point your toes and you do little tiptoes exercises. You do something to get moving. As long as you get the blood to flow more, you get the oxygen through your blood better um, more, you get the benefits of physical activity. 
um, there was a statement from the American Diabetic Associ uh, Diabetes Association in March of last year where it was found that just three minutes of physical activity every hour had as much benefit to people with obesity, diabetes, and the layperson as doing an hour and 50 minutes three times a week. So it, and that's just physical activity. That's gardening, sweeping, cleaning, washing the dishes while you're watching TV, get up to go drink your water in between for each advertisement. That's just physical activity. So these are the things that St. Lucia Moves want to aim at, to get people to appreciate how much the small changes can make for us. Yep. Um, I'm excited, and I hope Sanusha is excited too, because yeah. I mean, it is, we're, we're actually trying now to get out there and to, to partner with the business places that already on board. We have history of courts having the um, soca fit, and we always know NIC does their sneaker day. So we're trying to get more places, more business places to participate and to encourage workplace wellness. And we want people at their homes to do to be more physically active and to take the stairs instead of the elevator those sorts of small decisions that have an incredible impact on their lives thank you dr louise very informative um just like to stress on the, the point that the ministry is participating as well. We are leading by example. Oh, yes. Um, tomorrow, I have been forced into <laughs> a game of rounders. Yes. Um, they're really going to test my. Um, going to test how physical I am tomorrow. <laughs> Let's hope I uh, I do well for my team. <laughs> um, it looks like we have a, a busy schedule coming up. Yes. Um, a lot of activities here. Every month, every month we have something. Yes, shared. and and actually the following St. Lucia moves here, we have some activities for the schools. I, I didn't want to say it yet, but um, we 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 need to ensure that we cover all of the components of yeah. St. Lucia Moves, which would be the public awareness that we spoke about, mm -hmm. the um, corporate partnership that we have, our community reach outreach programs where we would encourage NGOs, faith-based or faith-based organizations, the uniformed groups, and then the school-based programs. Now, in the school-based programs, we are looking to have a competition for the students, we're not giving too much detail, but we will have a competition for the school age students um, for St. Lucia Move, so um, keep your ears peeled. We will let you know what that's about. We come Caribbean in. Wellness Day 2023. <laughs> yes. All right, not too much excitement, Dr. Uh, Louise. Let's, uh, let's calm it down. Still have that's, that's the AC, that's the AC. That's the AC. All right. Just now. <laughs> so our final panel, panelist, uh, uh, for this morning is uh, Nurse Julieta Frederick Cassius. She's the Principal Nursing Officer at the Ministry of Health, Wellness and LLA Affairs. And she will be informing us um, about the important collaborations which the Ministry will be undertaking under the 2023 campaign. It's Nurse Cassius, take it away. Thank you, Mr. Sand, and good morning, St. Lucia. Good morning to my team mates. And of course, that excitement Dr. <laughs> Isaac has just rubbed off on me even more. Yeah. So as part of the campaign for St. Lucian Moves, we also have um, a component, Know Your Numbers. Dr. Isaac mentioned about creating the awareness and also the health education aspect. So in knowing your numbers, we won't just be giving information about how to keep healthy, how to promote, but a key component is knowing your numbers. And what does knowing your numbers mean? There are some critical markers which indicate our health status. So we have our cholesterol level. Do we know what our cholesterol level is? Do we, do we know what our blood pressure measurement is? Do we know what our blood sugar? Do we know what our waist circumference measurement? We have a lot of persons who may not be big, 
but we have a lot of adipose tissue up around our waist. We know when we get older, this is part of our, our, our this is part of what happens to us, our physiological body. And again, how do we control, how do we maintain our weight? So our body mass index, again, is another critical figure, our visceral fat. So these are very critical indicators that determine our health status. So when we say know your numbers, St. Lucia, do you know what those levels are? Do you know what's your cholesterol level? Do you know what's your blood pressure? Um, and not just, just once, but do you know what it is continuously? Do you know what your visual fat level is? Or do you know what your body mass index? We may be looking big, but is it correct? Or um, are we, are we do, is our weight in accordance with our height? Because that is what determines our body mass index. Uh, again, like I mentioned earlier, we may think that we are not fat or we're not big, but what happened to the visceral fat around our body organs? Places that we may not likely see with our eyes. So these are very, very critical and will lead to what we have mentioned earlier, cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. So knowing your numbers, St. Lucia, is extremely, extremely important. And this would go through screening. You can only know your number if you get screened. You need to get screened, your blood pressure needs to be checked, your blood sugar needs to be checked, your cholesterol level needs to be checked, and all of the other markers that are very important that I mentioned earlier. Why is it important for us to know our number? We can only know what is outside of the, uh, outside of the normal if we do our measurements and we know what our number is. So if we know what is normal, we need to know, okay, how do we continue maintaining that wellness, that health? If it is abnormal, what is it that we need to do to be better controlled and to maintain that control once we get there? Because for some of us, once we, okay, our, our blood pressure is right now, it's controlled and we feel, hey, I, don't have blood, I do not have blood pressure anymore. But we need to be able to continue doing all the necessary things to be able to ensure that it remains under control and that things don't get out of control and then now we are develop our, the various complications. So knowing your numbers is extremely important in Lucia and we need persons, we need to encourage persons to know their numbers. And so the Ministry of Health under this initiative, um, St. Lucia Moves, will be collaborating as you've mentioned, as Dr. Isaac has mentioned before, collaborating with various public private sectors, NGOs, to be able to go in and do the necessary screenings as much of the population as possible. Our aim is to screen the entire population. We know it's going to be, take time, but at least we need to start somewhere. We've had a very good relationship with um, some of our workplaces who have their health days or their health months. They invite us to come in to do the screening, and so we want to continue that. But we have some other areas, some other agencies that we would like to work with. We would like them to come on board and to be able for us to be able to go in and um, do the necessary screenings. Now, some of us, we do not want to know what our number is. We don't want to know what we have. We do not want to know, you know, it's better I do not know. And this is a fear that we have as St. Lucians. But guess what? If we are able to detect early enough, and that is the basis for screening, early identification. We are able to correct it much sooner so it does not um, it does not get to a place where it's a cost to the family, mm -hmm. it's a cost to the country, you know, and it can be an uncomfortable place to be at. So we really want St. Lucians to go get screens. You need to know what your numbers are. And only if you know what your numbers are, we are able to know what is it that you need to do or not do to be able to keep that under control. So um, we'll be collaborating with all of our agencies out there. We'll be doing community outreach. We know not everybody comes to our health facility, so we will go to them. So all of these pockets, this, um, small settlements within the communities, we'll be going out there and doing community screenings. Because we want everyone to know 
what is my number? What is my number? What is my cholesterol level? Is it good? Is it not so good? Is it, is it, is it not at a place where it needs to be? I need to get it at this place where it needs to be controlled and I know that I am okay. Now, many of us, we are walking around and we feel okay, we look okay, we believe that we are healthy, but are we? Because again, not unless we get screened, we will not know what our numbers are. So it's very important, St. Lucia, that you know your number and you can continue knowing your number, doing your screens to be able to do your necessary checks. So it tells you where you are health-wise, again, maintaining wellness. So this is part of well, maintaining your health. All right, so St. Lucia, Look out for us, we'll be coming to the workplaces, we'll be coming to um, the shopping malls, we'll be coming to your, your homes. We'll be having that nationwide screening. So everybody, we're on board. Children, adults, the elderly, all of us, we will get at some point to know your numbers. So you need to know, so you can know how to move on from there. Thank you. Thank you, Nurse. Cassius, and I think you've been given uh, plenty reasons why you mm -hmm. should love your body today. Mm -hmm. And we want to stress on, on that aspect of loving your body. So Lucia Moves 2023 is all about loving your body. Starting today, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yes. If you love something or somebody, put your body Before first. You like yeah. It's yourself first, <laughs> right? So a number of exciting uh, announcements today. One of them is the video campaign to St. Lucia Moves. Ladies and, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, remember, if you want to take part, you want to be part of that exciting video. You can see yourself. You want to make that video go viral mm -hmm. on social media. That's right. Okay, so you saw a lot of faces a while ago from the ministry. The next video we do, we want that to be you. public. That's you. right. Mm -hmm. From St. Lucia, the diaspora. All right? Uh, we allow in whining in that video, right? Anyway, <laughs> once you move, <laughs> once you move. <laughs> so just to throw back to our panelists, um, anything you want to add in there before we say goodbye? Um, just to remind St. Lucians that what we're doing, what we intend on doing as a ministry, as a, the, the, the um, NCD committee, um, is that we would like to move forward together. As our, in, our independent statement says, do versum through St. Lucia moves, we would like to shape our destiny. So yes. we are working on moving together as a nation, as a region, to shape our destiny by improving our health. I didn't intend to stop your your conversation, you know. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy to be part of this St. Lucia Moves, my belly big, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the whole idea. Um, question C. Is Monkey Cavalier Creole Pandy dying? That's a young. Avec, I also, let me ask that one in English. What are the incentives to encourage people at, at different levels and in different categories. I heard somebody mention the churches and the schools and everybody else, but I'm, I'm really thinking about the different age groups and I know the problems that the Ministry of Health and the, the, the OK, the hospitals face with the, the, the number of, um, the, how you call it, MCDs? Mm -hmm. Serious situation. So we need, I believe, to have a lot more um, incentives so that people can participate. Like weapon my quail. Mr. Gaspar, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that Less. Okay. I'm going to try to respond. Okay. Let me talk about the people who are going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going nous ni différents bagages nous qu'ai fait. Là ni des trois bagages nous voulons faire et c'est nous chez Moves. Nous qu'ai entré dans l'école là et et nous pas parler about physical education là nous qu'ai fait PE. No, apart from PE, apart de PE, nous voulons qu'ai fait comme nous qu'ai commencé ça en septembre. 
Nous moving for me. So, yo ni pou check ko yo pou we si yo ka move pli passe one hour tous les jours. Ok? Um, so, nou, sa se bay pou se tiyan may la. Lot bagay se sa, le zot sa um, se nos la kan atwen dan l'ekol la, yo ka bay tetanus shot, et different shot pou se tiyan may la, ki ka fe common entrance. Le se nos la antwe pou fe sa, le yo ka fe um, injection, yo ka y bay vaccine yo, yo ka y toujou screen se tiyan may la. Le yo screen se tiyan may la, yo meje, ou li on wis yo, yo peze yo, e ke yo e tiyan may sa, dwet ka y nyan problem. Nou ka y palek se, ek mama ek papa, edu, um, educate them. Et de famille, ça y est pour faire pour aider tes mains. Donc, so, nous nous cachons à bord toutes ces larges ces mounes, et ces mounes grands, ces grands mounes. Nous cachons ni programme à the health center. Mais ça c'est où qu'a changé la tenir programme pédigues, pédigues. Um, Quand c'est l'année passée, ma cache changé. Oui. Cette Saint Lucia moves, nous avons commencé un autre programme comme ça. Nous avons fait un deux health center, et c'est mon un deux comité, et c'est mon qui passe à venir, et qui est là. Nous avons entré là, et nous avons fait un qui manie au soir, nous avons fait exercice, et nous avons créé ça mouvement. Puis Saint Lucia moves, nous pas voulu mon cas cachille, y en a pour entrer un deux gym pour faire exercice, pour y participer à Saint Lucia moves. Tout bagay ou fait, tout physical activity. Si bay la ka fait che ou bat pleasing en titak pli, et ki ka fait sa ou move en titak pli, pli sa ka wive en sevel ou pli sa ka wive en de fou si noa, fou si blav, ka wive en de che ou, et le y fait sa, tout se kemik la ki ka um, ale ou li wong koa, i ka fe koa pli meye. Ou kouvan? So, se pou sa nou ka target tout moun, ti men may gwo moun. Incentive, mm -hmm. set li se, moun eme we koyo. So, video a, moun nan ki geye video a, yo ka ywe koyo, yo ka ywe jen yo an de video a, et video sa ka international. So, sa se premye bay la. Lot bay la se sa, Caribbean Wellness Day, nou ka y ni de twa prize ka y bay, Um, c'est l'école là, c'est mon nom qui participe, c'est mon nom en la communauté, um, différents groupes, nous avons des prizes pour vous. À partir de ça, c'est private companies. Mm -hmm. Les gens qui aident le um, public, mon It's a good thing, peace. Nous ka wè, yo pa jes la pou pwè la ren nou. Mm -hmm. Ma si ka fè an chay bagay pou nou, yo ka edè ek an chay bagay, me moun pa sav. Uh, le yo antwè de sen nou chen mouz, ek yo ka edè staf yo, ek set li siyan ka wè, ma si ka edè staf yo pou wè se plis, pli, helfi. Plis, um, ni plis, bon sate, oui. Mo, bon, bon sate. Bon sate. Mm -hmm. Moun sa apwisiye, se private company a yo pa jes la pou pwè la janou. Ek yo ka yeme sa. So, the incentives... Um, criteria, we talk about the criteria. Uh -huh, a, 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 apart from bon santi, mm -hmm. la ni lot incentives. Mm -hmm. La ni bay pou geye, ou ka yewe, ou pli meye. Lot moun ka yewe, ou pli meye. Lot moun ka yewe sa ou ka fe pou moun nan katwa raye pou yo. Je ne sais pas si Mais moi, je voulais dire, 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 moi, je
blood pressure, peut-être um, um, cycle à toi pour et dès le coup, c'est qu'à faire ces bagages là, ok, il y a une différence mm -hmm. en manière ces levels salariés mm -hmm. en dedans Bordeaux. Donc, so, c'est un petit groupe incentive là. Exactement, je um, voulais mettre mm -hmm. ça, c'est quoi les gens qui ont dit. L'autre bas là, c'est ça, um, mon nez à l'habitude, nous aimons compétition pour bail. So, depuis nous savons, nous, nous avons dans la compétition, ça y est, nous avons senti qu'on nous joli. Et um, c'est nous qui avons la nous avons compétition, j'ai dit que c'est business place là. La canne compétition pour qui a fait um, comme business place qui a fait mamio um, fait exercise, comme business place qui a fait mamio um, fait screening dans nos dias, ok? Comme business place qui a coulé nous comme nous. Puis changer, c'est nous qui avons fait pas juste. Tout le monde a juste l'âge pour faire ça. Nous, comme une santé, nous avons la santé. Donc, là, nous avons fait un bail, nous avons fait un docteur, un nurse, pour faire une éducation avec um, ces ce gens qui ont travaillé avec les communes. Et nous avons fait un screening dans tout le bail. Et ces business places, la um, place qu'on a, Yo kaisa di e ben moi fait la quantité moun ka twa avec moi fait tel tel ba avec tel tel chose avec mm -hmm. le septembre moi vais pour um, Caribbean Wellness Day nous ka bay puis pour ces business place like ces places de travail là qui ni plus mm -hmm. moun qui ja fait uh, différents sa santé yo et ça nous ka fait aussi le nous ka commencer um, for much Bon, ma, match April, nous avons commencé avec ce business place li, là. Et là, nous avons commencé, nous avons pour ces numbers là, mm -hmm. nous commencer. Et après combien mois nous avons vie fait ces numbers là pour essayer de monter, oui, mais il y a encore pour essayer de j'ai pas de angoisse. Si pressure plus mais où commence à nous là c'est tout ça c'est uh, incentive ou cas ou cas gain, toute manière ou cas gain, alright? I will say this one in English. It's a win-win. It's win-win. Win-win-win. <laughs> win, win, win. <laughs> it's true. Win-win. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> Gaspar, I'd like to thank you for that. But before before we leave here to the ladies, I'd like you all to measure Gaspar. We will measure uh, Gaspar's measure, waist. Yeah, measure his waist area. Yeah. And after this campaign, we will measure him again. again. Because he's going to be participating mm -hmm. much more, right? Yeah. Around us tomorrow, Gaspar? Yeah. Yes. All right. We're inviting the media houses to participate as well definitely yes definitely. i'm calling on the media houses uh, to take part in this not just to um, um not to show it only not just not to cover just AR what jingles. We're doing. yes yeah we want them participating that's yes. right we know there are a lot of fit people mm -hmm. in the media houses other than i'm not there anymore <laughs> yeah yeah others <laughs> fit in the media so we'd like to encourage um the media houses as well to um participate in this ladies and gentlemen um Look out for more. We will be having more announcements. Uh, the Ministry of Health Facebook page, that is Ministry of Health and Wellness, St. Lucia. We will be having more announcements on uh, many of the, uh, what we announced here today. So keep in touch with us. The video competition, we're looking forward to that. Um, I, say, I say everybody got very excited when you all spoke about that. So we're looking forward to that video competition. Tag us, the Ministry of Health, we're on Facebook. This is where we come to the end of the press relaunch of St. Lucia Moves. Once again, we'd like to encourage you to love your body. Mm -hmm. I've been your host, Sant Justin. St. Lucia ready, set, move. Move to the left or the right. Keep that body tight. St. Lucia move. Get a good sleep at night. Treat your body right. Say do some move. Young old rich or poor, don't stay inside. I lay there walk. Move. Walking, running, biking, hiking, swimming, exercising. Move. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health, encouraging move. all St. Lucians to take good care of your mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical health. Say do some ready, set, move. The panel, the discussion, an objective and impartial view of the issues of interest to you. Nation Beat is on now.